Hey and welcome back to Through the Years. In this series, we take a look at the month's chosen pay-per-view, pick out a handful of our favourite women's matches to ever take place at that pay-per-view and simulate them in the 2K engine. This weekend's pay-per-view is of course Survivor Series and was originally established back in 1987. Over the next week, we'll be simulating matches with a range from its very first pay-per-view all the way up to present day. If there's a favourite match of yours we haven't included in our list, be sure to let us know in the comments below and let us know what your favourite women's match is to ever take place at this pay-per-view. Also, don't forget to check out our official website www.therevolution.co.uk for all the latest news surrounding this month's chosen pay-per-view. The following contest is an Extreme Rules match and is for the WWE Women's Championship. There is an absolutely big fight feel in the arena tonight for this one. Yeah, and judging from the vibe here currently, it seems to me like this is the one this sold out crowd came to see. Oh, this is awesome. Trish Stratus, the first woman to main event a Monday Night Raw. Trish has a resume a mile long, but plain and simple, she may be the single greatest female superstar to ever step foot in a WWE ring. Yeah, a true trailblazer in the women's division. What a treat to see Trish Stratus in action here tonight. Introducing the challenger from Los Angeles, California, Victoria. Introducing the champion from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. She is the WWE Women's Champion, Trish Stratus. If you didn't think about moving, you better apologize. You can feel the electricity running through this arena. This is going to be some battle, one-on-one, -on -one, mano a mano. Settle in, guys. This is going to be a blast to watch. And she lands a perfectly executed drop kick. And she lands a ferocious elbow. She goes for the cover. She goes for the cover. Digging deep for a kick out. It's going to take more than that. Oh, and a slap. Watch out! Oh, right off the second turnbuckle! Face first! Tanya the face taking some serious damage here. Looking for all the glory here. Oh man, they don't even seem hurt after that. Still a lot more fight left. And a savage clothesline. Ah. 
Looks like she wants to beat her inside the ring. I gotta say, watching this match, I'm definitely seeing similarities to the May 2016 Extreme Rules match where Roman Reigns defended his WWE World Heavyweight Championship against AJ Styles. Going for the double play with this move. When it comes to brutality, I would agree with Michael Cole's assessment that this match shares similarities with the 2016 Reign Styles match. Ouch. Though for me, the biggest story of that Trish. Trish is Brain Buster! Oh. I knew it was only a matter of time. The face oh. first toss. I'll tell you, watching Extreme Rules matches make me happy. My in-ring days are behind me. You talk about a treacherous environment to compete in. Right to the face. If an opponent exhibits a weakness for a specific move, some will return to utilizing that move as long as possible. Here we go again. She's really fixated on delivering that maneuver. This is a treacherous match indeed, as Corey was saying. I can't even tell you how many times we've seen Extreme Rules matches result in broken bones, stitches, and even trips to a medical facility. Yeah, but despite all those inherent dangers, these superstars still willingly sign up for Extreme Rules matches. That's what amazes me the most. Shoulder tackled. She goes for the cover. You can't teach the type of tenacity we're witnessing here. Unreal. She's still in this one. There's the Irish whip. Of course, Extreme Rules matches have resulted in some gruesome moments over the years, and perhaps none was more gruesome than in 2012 when Brock Lesnar busted John Cena open following a vicious attack. Trish is absolutely on fire right now. Up and over the scoop slam. Hold on, guys. This isn't good. No question about it, Cole. Stratosphere! Game, set, match, this one is over. As Byron mentioned, Lesnar's attack on Cena in 2012 was without question gruesome. And furthermore, I don't think I've ever seen John Cena manhandled like he was on that night. Yeah, Lesnar definitely brought it to Cena that night. But what's truly amazing is that John Cena eventually found a way to win that match. Oh man, she's rolling now. Uh-oh. Watch out. Oh, shoulder first. I think the ring just shifted. Guys, you never know what you're going to see in a match like this. And if you need proof of that, just go back to watch Daniel Bryan versus Kane from Extreme Rules 2014. Look out, Irish whip. She clearly liked the results from the first time she delivered that move. I guess she feels there's something to be said for going back to something that worked before. She's wasting no time taking over this contest. It's got to be over now. That's how you... And this has got to be it! Two! Three! And you can put this singles match in the books. Man, that Extreme Rules match is one of the best I've ever seen. It was incredible. I can watch highlights of that one all night long. One of the great WWE matches I've ever been able to watch. I don't like to throw around a lot of praise, but my eyes tell me that might have been one of the great matches in recent WWE history. Count yourselves lucky, people. You might watch WWE for years and only see a match that good a few times. Here is your winner. champion, Victoria. There's plenty of reason for celebration tonight. That's a big win right there. Anytime you can pin another WWE competitor's shoulders to the mat for the three count, you should be proud.
and give this Houston crowd credit for being on their feet almost the entire match.